We're seeing, uh, we're gonna move on to, uh, Project M Losers Finals here. Uh, which is going to be between Squid and Raz. Why am I even with that giant hawk and I just kind of go with it? We have Mewtwo versus Sheik. Squid, of course, staying with his main, Mewtwo. His boy, if you will. A solid choice, of course. Did you yeah, the last hit just has a bigger hitbox to take. Like you can situation. take my spot. Uh, there were things I could do about that. Uh, no, there wasn't. Alright. The rematch. Best 3 out of 5. Losers finals between Mosaic, The Sheik. Ugh. And Evan Dennis. The Mewtwo. Squidward. Can you give us a quick recap on what happened in the first match? Uh, Rosea got bodied first match. So, like, history is looking like it's repeating itself right now. The <laughs> second body. Nah, 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 yeah, it, it, you? you got pretty bodied. Yeah. I have an awful memory, like, that was close to me, but I actually, like, keep doing it. Uh, well, anyway, the second match, uh, Rosea bodied him right back. And the third match, if I recall, was actually kind of close, but then Rosea clutched through. Nah, the, uh, did you see something? I, I was three or two. Maybe there's a JD. Who knows? In any case, there's egg one. Put him in losers finals. Uh, actually, put him, the they put him in winners way. finals, but then now he is in losers finals. The poor thing is they just teleport right into the trap. Anywho, they survived. Wow. Uh, Squid already off to the two star lead. Yep. It's looking like uh, this one is going to the dogs for Rosaic right now, or the cats rather. What's a cat? Get a quick kill and though. Fuck? Maybe one more, ain't thinking that's good. I don't even know if you can do that in daylight. <laughs> Is that can still do this? Okay. Uh, 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 oh, he oh. kept himself alive. Okay, phew, just barely. So yeah, you can still do this. He's down a stock and a half, but, you know, it's not insurmountable, especially from all the Smash Bros. matches I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I've seen bigger leads conquer, no doubt. Rosaic, I want to say, is better versed in how Project M plays, particularly his character. I mean, he knows Sheik better than uh, Squidward knows Sheik. But at the same time, like the opposite is the same as well. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, this but is, there you go. This is actually tied back up again. This is actually the first time uh, we've played an actual music in tournament. And neither of us really know what to do. <laughs> well, Squid seems to be figuring it out just fine. Yeah. Well, the lead that he had before is diminished rather considerably. It's true. Progress has been made, but still a heavy favorite. Yeah, it's uh, still what? not racking still up not the damage here. Uh, hit the... I got an edge cancel. Yeah, I was going to see. Oh, like, you're you're and there it is, <laughs> folks. All right, two stock. Squid with the two stock victory in first match. Let's see how this plays out some more. All right, Warrior Warrior again. Okay. Going back to Warrior Warrior. This is what happened last set as well. <laughs> if you remember from the story that I told you like a minute ago. Rosaic won on the stage. Pretty handily. This is the type of stage that favors Sheik's character better than, uh, yeah. uh, than Mewtwo. Well, yeah, the Mewtwo's best kill options are either straight up or straight down. Mm -hmm. But Sheik kills best off the sides. Uh, the ceiling is like sort of average height, but the sides are very, very short. So this definitely favors Sheik better than Mewtwo. Oh, yeah, it's and not. Then as soon as we really, say that. Well, it's <laughs> just that, you know, Sheik was at 130. Yep. So, like, that wasn't an early kill. That was. It's gonna happen. That was an on time kill. Mm -hmm. Good falling neutral there. 
Squidward is going back to uh, what made him catch up in the last game of the previous set. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, one of the best things that Mewtwo has in any matchup is his range because his tail is massive mm -hmm. and it has a hitbox on every part of it whenever he swings it for his tilts and his, some of his aerials. Yeah, it's tough to avoid, there's no doubt. Hmm. And there we go. Alright, so he finally takes one of the stocks. 78% difference. Well, no. Oh, out of stock. <laughs> so he's gonna have to work she pretty hard. She probably have to go for that uh, side kill like you were talking about earlier. Oh, oh that's unfortunate. Well, he needs to hit him first. Mm -hmm. In the neutral. Area. So with the jab she tries to make something happen, but not quite. Huh. Seems she trying to stay in close. Well, she, that tail bit, but Sheik doesn't have much range to speak of herself. Mm -hmm. I mean, she has back air, and there it is. Three, Three stocks. So wow, that uh, going back to Warrior Light didn't quite work out. It was worth a shot. Yeah, let's see what else Mosaic has up his sleeve. Mosaic does secondary again. Uh, it's kind of examples on our sleeve. Uh, we, we use the middle two rows plus uh, hits like a train mm -hmm. and has decent range on most um, well not most but some of his attacks. I don't know if it's nearly enough to outrange uh what's the next music. Yeah. So they're thinking about it. We're having so much fun. <laughs> it's, it's eleven o'clock. Green Hill Zone. And neither of them are opting to switch. Mosaic clearly thinks that his Sheik is good enough for this. I mean, he won the last match, so I mean, there was some president for it. Mm -hmm. He's done before, so he knows she can do it. Mm -hmm. If up air wasn't ridiculously unfair, <laughs> I had literally oh. no moves that could stop that. <laughs> well, no well, folks, what do you say about that, really? <laughs> right. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. It's just, Rizak chose hard mode, that's all. <laughs> he can still do this. It's like, this is just his MLG, MLG strats. <laughs> you two just the vicious combo there. Just take some of the hits, teleport away, but even though. He managed to uh, teleport out of Sheik's range. Hits him right again with the tail. Yep. The fact that Mewtwo is not going to help us is a massive oversight. I mean, I'm sure they thought it was cool, but they clearly didn't think too much about it. Yeah, well, <laughs> well I, think, I think they did it because they thought Mewtwo was just so grossly underpowered in melee. Like, they needed something oh, yeah. to... They needed something to they buff them. Yeah, it's just the knew. problem is no, no, no. The problem is, is that they buff everything else and then teleport, or teleport first and then everything else. But so either way, they, they buff his everything and then like give floating like this. Attacking up, fucking hell, man. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's also stupid getting that. So. Usable, you can, I guess. Oh yeah. So yeah, me too. Fun character, I'm sure. Fun to play with, but not that fun to play against. Well, <laughs> that's basically everyone in this game, honestly. Yeah, it's true. But, uh, just... You see in particular. <sighs> not enough. Ah, so close. Not quite that strong. <clears throat> and there it is. Nice. So the stocks are even back up at 127% deficit. You may as well be down a stock already. Mm -hmm. But if you can just get something pretty good going. Oh, you two just needed one decent shot. Yeah. And he got it. Oh, no. No. Yeah. 
Yuzu's not especially fast because his range is just so godlike. He doesn't need to move very fast to chase you down anyway. Nope. Not to mention just teleports down That's it. That's right. Who needs speed when you can uh, miraculously appear out of nowhere? You know, but if Mewtwo were as all-powerful as he claims he is, then you think he'd be able to just reappear in front of where he wanted to be, rather than, like, within a set distance. Anywho, one stock each. This is the closest match we've had thus far. And uh, wham. And boom. Just like that. Down smash. Squid loses champion.